Let's talk about malachite. Here are a couple of my malachite specimens. I have more, I just don't know where they are right now, even though actually I'm pretty sure that this pendant is fake malachite, but these two are real. I know these two are actual real malachite. So malachite is one of my favorite minerals. If you know me, you know I like green poisonous things. My favorite color is Paris green or emerald green, the one made with arsenic, and malachite green is a pretty close second. It is a copper carbonate hydroxide mineral, meaning it has a lot of different stuff in it, but kind of the main important one is copper. As we know, copper does turn green when it oxidizes, which is what gives malachite its bright green shade. It is formed through partly a copper oxidization reaction. So malachite is formed usually on more surface areas of copper ore deposits, and it is formed when said copper ore does get kind of weathered and oxidized. Now, it's not like pure copper that does this, the copper metal, it is other copper containing compounds. That was hard to say. Now, like I said before, malachite is somewhat toxic due to the copper compounds found inside it. However, just having malachite, like just stones or anything, or even wearing malachite jewelry is harmless. It only really becomes a concern once it is inhaled or otherwise ingested. Just having and holding malachite like this is fine, especially if it is polished. And it only really becomes a concern if it somehow gets aerosolized, like in a powdered form, or if it's left to soak in water and or otherwise gets into the water supply where the copper can leach out into the water, which will cause problems if the water is drank. Now, much like the arsenic that I mentioned before, malachite was historically used to make green pigments for things like painting. However, it doesn't make a very good paint. It is quite light sensitive and acid sensitive, so it faded very, very quickly when exposed to pretty much any conditions. And again, due to the high copper content, malachite is toxic. So when grinding up malachite into a powder, a lot of it can get aerosolized and start to cause problems. Now, currently, since malachite does in fact suck as a pigment and is toxic, especially when in a powdered form, it is not used anymore at all as a pigment and has been replaced entirely by synthetic green pigments, which is overall a good thing. Now, malachite currently doesn't have that many uses beyond jewelry and crystals and decorative purposes. It was previously used to smelt and obtain just regular copper, but I think we have other ways of doing that, so malachite is no longer used for that as much. But now, currently, since we have better green pigments and better ways of getting copper, malachite is pretty much only decorative.